Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is George Mobley, and I'm running for the Governing Council student at large. I want to be the voice of choice for the students without a voice. Those of you most, uh, most of you know me, and I've worked really hard this year in my region in bringing them to get them here at these events on a regular basis. You know I have the heart, you know I have the tenacity, and you know I have the stamina to do this job correctly. I want to focus on some things that I think are a little under focused on. I want to look at hidden disabilities and the unseen and unheard students. Students like our online students who are paying 15% more per credit using their own electric, their own computer, and their own, buying their own textbooks and largely doing all of the own work teaching themselves. These are people that we need to focus on and see how we can advocate and do better things for them. I really appreciate this opportunity and I thank you all for taking time to, to do this with us today and this has been a great day. Thank you. For your first question, how do you view the role of student at large on the governing council and how will you work with your counterpart on the platform committee? I view my role as the person who goes out and seeks out these people that we don't advocate for because they don't tell us anything. I want to be the person that actually goes out and finds these people. I, I think that with my life experience, I've been able to initiate conversations with just about anybody, anybody about anything. And I think that's really important for us. And as far as working with my counterpart, I'm going to take a lot of lead for them because they are going to be the primary person involved with the diversity, uh, diversity committee. Uh, and I'm going to support them as best I can. I'd like to continue working with my predecessor's goals of working with the homeless and the hungry. And I'd like to help. I, I see it's my job to continue these, and I, it's my job also to advocate for our veterans. For your second question, the Student at Large Governing Council serves as the vice chair for two committees. What are the committees and what plans do you have to help these committees? Both of the committees are, let's start with the scholarship committee. I'm the vice chair of the scholarship committee. One of the things I want to work hard on is making sure that all of the campuses understand everybody can apply for this, you know, whether you're a leader or not. Uh, I noticed that this year when I was talking about it on my campuses, how many people didn't actually understand that the scholarship committee isn't this arduous process. It's actually something that's relatively easy. You just have to follow the paperwork. And the diversity committee is the other thing that I'm vice chair of. <clears throat> I really have to follow the lead of the chair of that because I feel that my focus is to help them as best as possible. Um, I have some ideas on some diverse issues that we need to talk about. Hidden disabilities is one of them. I mean, that's a huge thing. 75% of us are disabled in this country, you know, whether you believe it or not. So we need to start working and bringing these people into the limelight. For your third question, please clarify for us who you'll be representing at GCs and then tell us your plan for effectively doing so. <laughs> so uh, I, I keep repeating myself, but I represent the people that don't have a voice, the people that we don't see every day, the people that you see in your student commons, that angry student that you don't understand why he's angry. Nobody takes the time to talk to them. Well, that's my job. I'm supposed to be talking and communicating with each one of the campuses and finding out who has the issues and how can we help them. And, you know, it is, it's important that we take care of that. Um, it's important that I support the cabinet and the staff and the functions of MSCSA. And most of all, it's important that we do the best that we possibly can. And I want to lead by example in this situation. I want to be the person that is the voice of choice for students without a voice. And finally, you have one minute for closing remarks. I don't envy you. You have a hard decision to make today. I really, really think this is probably one of the hardest ones you're going to have to do. I'm standing here before you telling you I have the tenacity, I have the heart, I have the drive to do this. I've advocated for all of my students in my region, and they've advocated back with their students on their campuses, and it's an awesome thing to witness. I personally, have stood up here and said many times, we need to do more. I just, I'm putting myself out there to do more. You know, side folks, I'm sorry to use that. We really do need to step up and start advocating for the people that don't come to these conferences. We need to get the word out to these people. My name is George Mobley. I don't need a microphone to be heard. Thank you.